So pretty much what y'all witnessed here was a catastrophic grain failure. The grain liner actually collapsed under the weight of the floating injector bulkhead, which is basically a piston uh, exerting pressure on the fuel grain. And it exerted so much pressure on the grain liner, it actually collapsed the grain closed the throat so as soon as i ignited the preheater which you can see happen in the beginning of the video uh you'll see that purpley blue really pretty looking flame there that's actually the preheater the motor didn't even begin to ignite um well i shouldn't say it didn't begin to ignite it did begin to ignite immediately overpressurized and just took out the whole vehicle. Uh, took out the whole vehicle, whole launch rail, bent the tower, destroyed absolutely everything. You can hear chunks of the combustion chamber smashing the nitrous bottle, uh, banging and clanking around, but this is a, a prime example of a perfect uh, Kato, um, which was caused by a fuel grain liner failure uh and that's rocketry for you uh this is the best way to learn um so much was learned from this uh it's it's crazy how much info and data i got out of this test i mean just the the sheer forces involved here are just insane amounts of power um yeah, it's a little bit costly when you trash a vehicle like this, but this is the best way to learn. I mean, perfect example is look what it takes to, to crack a steel CO2 can like that. Um, just pretty wild stuff here. So it was fully fueled, 50 pounds just over 50 pounds of nitrous oxide was loaded. You could actually see it venting, um, which is pretty cool. But uh, it, it's really more like a detonation. Um, and once that all occurred, uh, you, you can see all that smoke, which is actually not smoke. That's all nitrous oxide. Uh, that's all liquid nitrous oxide that's flashing to a gas. Um, and that's what you're seeing in that video there. Um, unfortunately, the onboard footage of this was completely trashed, as you can see. Uh, trashed two Raven altimeters, uh, featherweight GPS. I mean, it just destroyed absolutely everything. Um, but it was a good time. I mean, it would have been great if it flew. And the, the, the vehicle right after this did fly. Um, believe it or not, some of this stuff was salvageable. Not much of it, but some of it was. Uh, all the threads are pulled in the bulkheads. It's just craziness, man. Um, but it's... Uh, I enjoy it. I love it. Whether it flies, or I'm building it, or it blows up. Uh, I love every second of it, and I, I just, I get a kick out of doing it, and I really enjoy doing it. So just a quick note here, all this aluminum you're seeing here, that's all started as solid billet round. Uh, that was bored, drilled, machined, indexed, honed bossed etc that's all done by me here in house you know i've even i've even done magnesium bulkheads um because they are lighter uh you just got to watch the placement of them obviously you don't want a magnesium bulkhead as a combustion chamber bulkhead uh but they work great as forward closures um strength to weight is just great uh so we do a lot of r d testing um 
with smaller stuff and then we'll you know scale it up from there uh but i just wanted to make note of that um So right here, you see me unscrewing the center injector. Well, what's left of the center injector. Uh, that's a 304, that's either 304 stainless steel or that's actually uh, Inconel. Um, this is a pretty, pretty serious uh, center injector that we got. We were running here on this. I just that's what that is that's what i was doing right there So that's how you do it. That's how you uh, absolutely destroy a four inch vehicle. You know, close the core of the motor off, it'll detonate, guaranteed. Um, took about 10 minutes to find all the pieces. We got about 95% of the vehicle. Um, post flight analysis showed quite a bit, actually I should say post detonation analysis learned quite a bit um that's what i got for now if you found it interesting like subscribe it goes a long way i appreciate it i know it you know i kind of suck at making videos but i'm trying to get better and uh until next time have a going